In this video, we are going to show you how to set up and align your Star Navigator Next Generation Telescope. You'll find that this telescope system has all you need to explore the universe. First, let's go over what accessories are included with the Star Navigator NG and what apertures are available. The Star Navigator NG comes in six different sizes, a 90mm and 125mm Maxutov Cassegrain, a 90mm and 102mm Refractor, and a 114mm and 130mm Reflector. The Star Navigator NG series comes with a sturdy tripod, OTA and single arm mount, and Audio Star handbox. These telescopes also come with accessories including two 1.25 inch eyepieces, a red dot viewfinder, and a bubble level compass. In addition to these accessories, the Star Navigator NG includes a dovetail receiver, which allows the user to easily remove the OTA from the mount. To set your telescope up, stand the tripod vertically with the tripod feet down and grasp two of the tripod legs and gently pull the legs apart to a fully open position. Loosen the leg locks on each leg and extend each leg segment until the top of the tripod is level and at the desired height. Relock the leg lock latches to secure each leg segment. Attach the accessory tray to the tripod by threading the center bolt into the tray until firm. Position the tripod where you want the telescope to be and check that the top of the tripod is approximately level. Use the included bubble level compass to level the tripod head. Next, place the mounting arm assembly into the tripod base. Reach underneath and thread the mounting knob through the tripod base and into the mounting arm assembly. Tighten to a firm feel. Do not over tighten. The optical tube assembly features a Vixen style dovetail plate, which allows the user to easily attach the OTA to the mount. Slide the OTA onto the dovetail plate and tighten the locking screw. Tighten the deck lock knob so that it holds the optical tube loosely. Slide the tube back and forth until you find a position where the tube remains horizontal and doesn't tip up and down. Tighten the cradle rings lock knob to a firm feel. Next, pull out the plastic dust cover from the eyepiece holder. For refractors only, slide the tube of the Supply Direct Image Prism into the telescope's eyepiece holder and tighten the thumb screws to a firm feel only to secure. Pick up the supplied 26mm eyepiece from its container and place it in the erect image prism or directly into the eyepiece holder for other models. Tighten the thumb screws to a firm feel. Locating objects directly in the main telescope can sometimes be difficult. To assist in this process, the red dot viewfinder projects a small dot that permits you to more easily locate objects. When the red dot viewfinder and optical tube are aligned to each other, both point to the same position in the sky. Depending on the model that you have, the red dot finder will attach to the telescope by either sliding into the finder holder spot or by using two thumb screws to attach the base to the telescope. Turn the knob at the front of the finder scope to the right to turn the red dot viewfinder on. Looking through the viewfinder, turn the viewfinder's two alignment screws until the viewfinder's red dot points precisely at the same object as centered in the eyepiece. The red dot viewfinder is now aligned to the main telescope. Check this alignment on a celestial object, such as the moon or a bright star, to make any necessary refinements. Before connecting the AudioStar hand controller, be certain that the power switch on the computer control panel is in the off position before plugging the cord into the HBX port. To power your telescope, you can use batteries or an external power supply. Open the battery compartment, remove the battery holder and carefully lift the connector out from the compartment. Whenever you place in batteries, be sure to disconnect the battery holder from the connector. Insert eight user-supplied AA size batteries into the holder. Connect the plug to the battery holder and carefully replace the battery pack into the battery compartment. If you have the optional AC adapter, simply plug the adapter into any 12 volt wall socket and plug the other end into the power port of the control base and flip the switch on. When turning on the control panel, the red LED will light up when the power is supplied to the panel. You can use the arrow keys to move the telescope up, down, left, or right to practice centering an object in the telescope's field of view. To automatically track and locate objects in the night sky, the star navigator must first be aligned on the sky. It is best to set up the telescope in twilight or before sunset the first time you use it. Once the star navigator is fully assembled, you will first need to initialize AudioStar the first time using the telescope. When the telescope powers on, the AudioStar keypad will beep and light up. Press 0 to begin easy alignment. You will then need to set your location, time, and select the telescope model. Once this is done, Audio Star initialization is now complete and will enter the easy alignment routine. There are multiple ways to align your telescope, 
but the two-star alignment procedure is the easiest and fastest way to locate objects with the AudioStar's go-to capabilities. AudioStar automatically chooses two stars to align upon. When the telescope slews to the first star for alignment, it may not appear in the field of view in the eyepiece. If you're not familiar with objects in the night sky, the rule of thumb is that the alignment star is usually the brightest star in that area of the sky. When you view an alignment star in the viewfinder, it stands out dramatically from the rest of the stars in that portion of the sky. While looking through the red dot finder, use the arrow keys to move the telescope to place the red dot on top of the brightest nearby star. Now look through the eyepiece and use the arrow keys to move the star to the center of the eyepiece field. Press Enter. If that area of the sky is obscured by an object, you can prompt AudioStar to choose an alternate star by pressing either one of the two scroll keys. Repeat procedure for the second alignment star. When the procedure is performed correctly, alignment successful displays. If AudioStar does not display this message, perform this procedure again. You have now successfully set up and aligned your Star Navigator NG telescope and you are now ready for the night sky. Whether it's a camp out with friends or a family excursion to the outdoors, the Star Navigator NG is the ultimate scope for making stargazing fun, effective, and straightforward. With its solid structure as well as a variety of apertures, the value and standard of this scope is up to par with many other amateur telescopes and will be sure to exceed expectations.